You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for some Honey Nut Cheerios. And as you can see, we have three boxes, and they're all different, but they're all Honey Nut Cheerios. As you can see now, this is the regular box of Honey Nut Cheerios. This is the 1979 debut box. And in the far right one is the far right one is the family size with the exclusive book inside with three to collect. So it's one of those things, you know, we just pass by it on the shelf and say, yeah, we'll grab, we'll make a video. But we're coming kind of the end of the life of this one. This one expires in the middle of December. So we thought, well, let's get these into the system now and show you the other boxes. This is not till next year, March, next year, February. But since we have them all together, I thought it would be cool to show them. And I'll probably open up this one so I can get the book out of it. Now, I've had Honey Nut Cheerios before, but now we're just showing you these cool boxes that you find on the shelf. Let me flip them around. And then we'll get the book out of there and take a look at that. Look at all the stuff. All the stuff on the boxes. So it's help, help buzz out of a sticky situation. Buzz was accidentally locked in the Hive City Central Honey Vault, and he needs your help to get out. Each of these puzzles reveals one part of the secret code that unlocks the vault. Solve all three and help Buzz escape. So puzzle number one, puzzle number two, and puzzle number three, and you fill in the blanks there. Let's move this one out of the way. And then this one here is the 79 box. Let's move on to this one next. And let's take a look at that a little bit closer. So we can learn about the cereal itself. It says, what's all the buzz about? In the disco-dominated times of 1979, Honey Nut Cheerios became the first and slightly sweeter spin-off of the original Cheerios. While Honey Nut Cheerios has had many different slogans over the past 35 years, one thing has remained the same. This cereal has been loved as a delicious start to the day. Uh, what else? Buzz's look has evolved. So it looks like how he started. And then trail. Let me zoom into that. That's cool. I was like looking at advertising and how he's changed. You can see they've taken a lot of characters and they kind of update them. And a lot of times you see them with sunglasses and just cool stuff on from when they originally started. So my favorite one will be this original one for some reason. And then what about you? Leave that in the comments. Let's see. So word blank. So we'll do this here and then maybe fill this out. Figure out the Honey Nut Cheerio slogans over the years. Use the word bank to fill in the blanks. Bonus, can you guess the order from oldest to most recent? Answers on side. Okay, if you don't want to see the answers, don't look here. All right, so we actually have these Lucky Charms boxes. We have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch boxes. We have the Reese's Peanut Butter boxes, the original ones, and the ones currently on the market. All right, so I need to get to this last box because this is the one we're actually going to open to see these books inside. Three exclusive books to collect. But let me do this. Let me get some milk, get my bowl, come back, and we'll give this one a try. All right, so here, let's check out this exclusive book inside. And I have my Mickey Mouse bowl and milk that I tried in a recent Oreo video. I thought, hmm, let's give it another shot with some cereal. So cheer on reading. Here's what you'll need. A cereal bowl, warm milk, liquid food coloring, dishwashing soap, and cotton swab. Oh, it looks like an experiment. Hmm. Get a little closer on that. Pour warm milk into a bowl or cup. Add a few drops of food coloring to the center of the milk. Take the cotton swab and dab it into the middle of the food coloring. See anything happen? Now cover the swab with dish soap and try it again. Ooh, that looks like a fun experiment. But I cannot do it today because I am not ready for it, because I just wanted to check the book out and the cereal. So let's see. What's on the side here? Transform your O's in the cookie. So if anybody wants the recipe here, I'll give that to you right now. There you go. Okay. Read that. And that's the cookie you're making. Well, lots of cool stuff on the box. Anybody done those cookies before? I would like to know. Now, it looks like the book is right in front, which it is. And it's attached to the front of the box. Okay, there you go. So now I have a hole in my box. I've had these before. I'm not sure if I've had them on video. I don't remember. We've done Cheerios videos in the past. 
before I read my book and check it out, let's have a taste, huh? Nice little snack today. And now my flax, delicious flax milk, which I liked actually. Okay, let that sit for a second here. And let's check out the book. A little too close. Let me make a quick adjustment here. Okay, that's better. Sorry about those bangings. That's my tripod. That normally doesn't happen, but I got a weird adjustment on the tripod today for whatever reason. Let's get out of the plastic. It says Phineas L. McGuire. McGuire cooks gets cooking a recipe for disaster let's see yes it's Phineas I almost thought it was F-I-N-C the way that font is this book belongs to oh so we got part three bummer what happens in part one and part two Phineas invited the school bully, Evan Forbes, over to dinner, hoping that homemade biscuits would change his mind about clobbering Phineas if he stops baking him a daily batch of brownies. Maybe it will even help Phineas figure out why Evan is a bully in the first place. All this brownie baking is getting exhausting, and Phineas really needs this plan to work, or else he'll be stuck baking for Evan for the rest of his life. Besides, there's a $10,000 bake-off prize to focus on and Phineas doesn't have a recipe yet. Okay, so it's a little story about being bullied. Which is always a good story to learn about. And hopefully someone learns not to bully other people. That's a neat little book. So it comes inside. So it looks like there's also science. It says, Scientific Extraordinaire has a new chore. Cooking dinner every night. He may be a genius, but he knows nothing about following a recipe. To find out more about Phineas, go to gophineas.com. And my cereal is sitting here. I'm just going to take a bite or two because I've had this before. But for those of you who have never seen it, this is your Honey Nut Cheerio, and they are very tasty. Mmm. I know that makes a lot of people hungry, and I'm sorry. Go grab a snack. And eat along with me. That is a good cereal. Well, there you go. We saw it. Three different boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. And if you're a fan of cereal and different cereal products, look in the description. We'll have a playlist there. Or as always, you can just search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.